back with Crystal down here in the pinned insect collection at the Field Museum. So the insect collection is the largest collection at the Field Museum. It is. There's about 12 million insect specimens and there's about 4 million specimens right here in this room. So the other 8 million are... They are downstairs in alcohol. So let's go see some of the insects that sure. we have here. Our whole collection is stored in cabinets like these. Mm -hmm. And each of the cabinets has space for several drawers. So if we open this up, there are about 15 drawers per cabinet. Wow. And then all of our specimens are stored in tiny boxes that we call trays. These trays are specially built just for our collection. They're called field museum trays. All of these cabinets here have the same family of beetle. All of these drawers have the same genus and then all of the same species is kept together. That way, when a scientist comes in, they can just say, I'm looking for this species in this genus in this family, and bam, there you go. It's like a Dewey Decimal system for, exactly. for insects. Exactly. You're moving several tons of cabinets. The strength of what a lot. an army. What's really cool about our rove beetle collection is it's one of the best in the world. We've had two experts on rove beetles here, Al Newton and Margaret Thayer. We also have about 7,000 type specimens. We've been working on databasing those types and imaging them. So you mm -hmm. can go online, anybody can go online and take a look at our rove beetle types. When you say 7,000 types, that's not just random specimen. Those are the specimens yes. that go into a collection after a new species is named. Exactly. We have a lot more specimens than 7,000, but we have 7,000 of the specimens that the person who originally described it designated as the name bearer. That's the wild. Name, it bears the name of the new species. These blank spaces with a number indicate where we sent specimens off to other researchers to study all around the world. We're hoping that by databasing all of our types and by photographing them, that'll reduce the need for people to come and see them in person. I wanted to point out this collection because this is one of our historically most important collections. It's the Frank Soda collection. The collector that started this, he was kind of in this Pokemon mindset, like the <laughs> gotta catch them all kind of thing. So what he would do was whenever he was missing a species from his collection, he would do a little drawing or a little painting and he would put it in the unit tray next to the specimens that were closely related or where that species should go. So he would like, would he like take out the drawing and be like, I'm coming for you guy. <laughs> Ah, you're next. I hope so. So it's pretty interesting that even though he didn't know what would happen to his collection eventually, the fact that we keep all of that with it, I think, right. enhances like its uniqueness. Right, and kind exactly. Of that, that Nobody mentality. else in the world has a collection like this. God, these are and these are some amazing, amazing beetles. Yeah. Check out this purple. That's a nice purple. This is, this is purple. I've never seen a purple that purple. This is purple, purple in its purest form. These are all um, flower chafers. They have names of old countries that don't exist anymore. Oh, yeah. This is a big problem with our digitization where you have to interpret that and try to figure out, well, what was this country called? Back in 1942? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. What's special about this space? you can disappear. This is the greatest place to play hide and seek, by the way. Because there's literally like, there's, I can, I can, my shoulders don't fit. This is the slide collection. These are mites. And but there you have it. There's some mites on there. Ah, that's why they're on a microscope slide. Exactly. Because they're hard to see. Yeah, and so a lot of these are economically important. Some of them infest livestock, some of them infest your pets, some of them transmit dangerous diseases. Yikes. Maybe not so much in the U.S., but in other places in the world. So how many of these boxes do you have? Tens of thousands. That's a lot. That is a lot. It's a lot of mites. It is a lot of mites. But it's a really important collection, and we have about two or three researchers a year come here to work on our mite collection. Do you want to see some cockroaches? Yes. Wow! <laughs> Those are huge! These are giant cave roaches. They look like they have little shovels on their heads. These are so much cooler than your German cockroach that lives in your basement. I don't have cockroaches in my basement. How do you know? Oh. They're very sneaky. What's really cool is that we're actually databasing them. So we're putting a barcode on all of the specimens so that we can then put all the information online and scientists all over the world can access that information. That's so useful. Yeah. And so that's that can help inform how people receive loans or request loans. Exactly. Crystal, this collection is so incredibly massive. It's the largest collection in the museum. And you mentioned that there's a huge percentage that has yet to be identified. Mm -hmm. But do you think there will ever be a point where if you have identified everything, you know what all the specimens are, and there's no more questions to ask? Not in my lifetime, not in 
several lifetimes, I really don't think so. I mean, this really? is this is just a treasure trove of stuff. Fifty years ago, we didn't know that we were going to be extracting DNA out of these specimens. Yeah. So who knows what we're going to be doing with these specimens 50 years into the future. This is a cabinet of specimens that the leading experts on beetles have looked at and they still don't know what they are. If you're interested in insects, it seems like there's, it's almost the, the, the wild west. Yes, there is an infinite amount of work to do. Anybody with a backyard and some pins and you know, a cigar box can start an insect collection. There's a new species that's being described right here from the museum campus. Really? Yeah. There's so a brand new species brand right outside? Brand new species right outside. Wow. Nobody knew about. It's a fly. Jeez. Maybe that's a different story. That's a different that's story. That's another brain scoop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for having me. Oh, this is great. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>